next. Hi Rhonda, what have you gotten us into? Well, we have, about six months ago, we decided to sell our home. And today's date is June 18th. Yes. Mm -hmm. So in that time period, we listed it and are closing today. So month and a half. It's Things been, have gone pretty wild. It has. Buyers are excited about moving here. So it's, it's all working out very well. Yes. Spent a lot of time cleaning out, emptying. We've included the furniture. Since we're moving into an RV, yeah, no room it. for furniture. Yeah, we're TVs. Brand new. Walk out on the porch. Uh -uh. Anyway, we're pretty excited. We are, we have been living in the RV for the last four nights just in the process of emptying everything out which is a major ordeal there are three big closets like that <laughs> that were full so i included some books this was my office <laughs> so excited <laughs> so in about two hours we'll hopefully have everything finalized we are using the washer and dryer for one last time that we left them are leaving the new buyers three bottles of wine i made mm -hmm. some blueberry yeah. wine and some muscadine wine mm -hmm. and of course have a whole cooler full for ourselves we didn't end up getting a 10 by 10 storage unit um, close to where our new mailbox is and uh, that actually was a good um, choice because we Originally, I thought we could do a 5 by 10 but we weren't able to get rid of... Uh, we quickly so, saw that would not work. Yeah, yeah. It was really a challenge going through everything, and we gave away a lot of things. I sold a lot of things, but we just ended up with a lot of knickknacks, you know, personal things that we wanted to keep. So we did end up with a storage unit. And we're using a mail forwarding service, so our new address will be Green Cove Springs. So we haven't done a video in a while, some personal obligations. Joe's mom had her 90th birthday. We were um, up in New Jersey for that. And the whole selling of the house, it took probably six months, you know, just kind of getting everything organized, um, deciding when to put it up for sale, selling things, boxing things up. It just took a while. The whole stupid COVID thing. The, all the COVID thing kind of threw us for a loop. We weren't even sure we'd be able to sell because, um, you know, the COVID thing happened as we were driving back from New Jersey from Joe's mom's 90th birthday. We got back here. I'm like, should we sell? Should we not sell? Do we need a home? Do we not need a home? Yeah, it was only for sale for two weeks, three weeks. Three weeks, yeah. We had a, we had a contract. And we so full price, cash. No contingencies. Yeah. Other than I help them learn how to make wine. Yeah, we may come back. They're a very nice couple. We um, hopefully we'll be back and help them make some wine in the winter. We're so looking forward to getting out of Florida in the next um, month. We're going to stay here for about a month just to make sure everything's settled. Starting today, we are full-time RVers. Yes. I can't believe that's so cool. <laughs> Our, more RVing with the Maracas coming. Soon. <laughs> well, we had the closing a couple hours ago. Money is in the bank. Is this what your RV looked like right before you were going to take off full time? We are stuffed. Every possible spot. Here's Rhonda <laughs> enjoying her new role as. My new role <laughs> as. Uh... <laughs> and of course, ta da! We'll get it all under control. You should see what we got rid of. So, at this point, everything's out of the house, everything's out of our garage slash workshop. We drove all of five miles to get to our new campsite, and frankly, we did good. We drove separately because it was so short a distance and it wasn't worth hooking up the car. But as far as, you know, everything fitting, 
it fits the car is jam-packed the RV is pretty packed but we'll make it everywhere we go is gonna have a dumpster thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think we'll be happy to respond